there Star Wars Collectors, welcome to another episode of Ask's Boss Bounty. This one is episode 28 in the series and as you know it's the weekly series every Sunday where you guys get to ask me questions in the comment section below and every week I do my very best to answer them. So if you do have a question for next week's episode be sure to leave it in the comment section and I'll, as I say I'll do my very best to answer it. I don't have a chance to answer them all but please don't let that deter you from leaving your questions every week because eventually I will get round to them. And before we get on to the first question I just want to say thank you very much to all the people out there that helped spread the word of the campaign Back TVC or Back the Vintage Collection. We're just trying to get Hasbro's attention in letting them know that we're not really happy with just 12 figures in 2020 in terms of new figures. In fact not all of those are new as you as you know. Uh, but basically three waves of four figures and two repack waves just isn't enough to satisfy us collectors of the vintage collection 3.75 inch figures in general. So thank you all very much for supporting that. Continue to support it on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, uh, my website, wherever you possibly can. I really, really do appreciate it. And hopefully Hasbro are listening and soon enough they'll come round to our way of thinking and we'll get more figures in the line. So fingers crossed. All right then, so with all that being said, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you do enjoy it and subscribe if you're new and we'll get straight on to the first question. Dominic Florentino says, what do you think are the odds of Hasbro making a vintage carded Thrawn? Would love to see that figure. I think it's entirely possible to be honest. I think Thrawn has become more of an integral character in the Disney era of Star Wars. He's in Rebels and he is definitely one of the figures that I will be shouting out for on Instagram. My good friend Harry, who has created these amazing graphics for me to use on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them. So far we've done the Emperor and we have done General Merrick. So basically you can be sure that Thrawn will be one of the figures that I will be pushing for. So let's hope they will, but you can never know for sure what they have in their plans. But if we shout loudly enough, they do listen to feedback from fans about characters that they want. So if you want Thrawn, let them know in comment sections and things like that. Fico Letter says, hey, can you please gift someone an action figure? So fans of this channel will know that I have done giveaways in the past at various points in my growth of the channel. So 1000 subscribers, 5000 subscribers, that kind of thing. I think I've given away three or four things in the past. I do try to give back to my audience and my community and my subscribers, but I do not want to become a channel that just grows on the back of giving giveaways. That's that's not the way to go about it, I do feel. I think you guys are here to be part of that community, not to get a free giveaway. But saying that, hopefully 10,000 subscribers isn't too far away and I'll do a giveaway for 10,000 subscribers. James Andrews says, how much would you be prepared for a vintage collection Poncrell? even in a three pack with the Fire First Clone Troopers. So I'm gonna say something that might be a little bit unpopular here, and that is I'm not a great fan of that type of alien, of Poncrell with the extra arms and stuff. He's the same guy or the same species as the Dexter character in Attack of the Clones. And if there's one part of the Attack of the Clones I really don't like, it's that scene in the 50s style diner with, yeah, the character I just don't like at all. And that sort of, aided in me not really liking the species as a whole. So I didn't really enjoy Poncrell at all. But as I said, that might be an unpopular opinion. And I think that's quite a good idea, actually. Let me know your most unpopular Star Wars opinion in the comment section below. It could be your most controversial opinion. So basically something that you know that everybody else likes, but you don't like. And then I might make a video about it. Walter Skywalter says, hey, Bosk Bounty, hope you are safe and well. Thank you very much, my friend. Since we are getting a lot of updated figures in the Vintage Collection line, what are the ones you'd like to see? I personally would like to see Jin Erso. So I've got to be honest, mate, that Jin Erso would probably be way, way, way down the list of the, of the figures that I need updated. Uh, she, she came out in the 3.75 inch Black Series. She came out in the first wave of the Vintage Collection when it came back. I really don't think that figure needs updating at all. The figures that I would go that I think really do need an update are all from the original trilogy collection or the vintage original trilogy collection. And that is namely the hero characters in Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia Organa and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Those three figures are in desperate need of an update 
and I'm sure most people would agree, I hope. Casting Shadow says, hello, thank you for answering all of our questions every single week. I would like to know what is your favourite movie figure line? Minus the Kenner trilogy. It can be any prequel or Disney movie. Example, Attack of the Clones or Solo. Mine is the Phantom Menace. So I think I'd have to go with the Revenge of the Sith. Uh, these three figures here are from that line. I love the Revenge of the Sith figures. I've got to admit it is mainly because of the clones. I love the Phase 2 clone armour. I think they look amazing. And with all the different coloured ones that you've got in the Revenge of the Sith from all the different battalions like the 212th, the 501st. Some just fantastic figures from the Revenge of the Sith line. And uh, this Commander Bly, he's going to be on Clone Trooper Tuesday this Tuesday, so be sure to check that video out. Matthew Herman says, when it gets to the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, do you think they will make a retro jabber for the retro collection? That's an interesting one because I think it honestly depends on the popularity of the retro collection. And I think, judging by sales and everything, that they are very, very popular. Hasbro did talk about potentially making vehicles and play sets and stuff for it. And they were talking about whether they would be that different from the modern vehicles. And I tend to agree on that. I think if they're going to make vehicles and stuff in the retro collection, then they, they just has to be a complete copy of the original from the Kenner days. It can't just be something that looks looks modern. That would just be awful in my opinion. But I think play sets and larger characters or beasts, things like Tauntauns and things like that is a great idea. Not sure if they'd go down that line and whether they'd create the packaging for it. But if they were going to do a Return of the Jedi one, Jabba the Hutt is one of the biggest characters from Return of the Jedi and I would love to see it, I must admit. Tim Hayes says, have you been collecting the retro collection Kenner reproductions? They're supposed to have the Boba Fett in the second wave. So I suppose you could call it the second wave, the Empire Strikes Back wave, because it is uh, the second wave essentially, but there really only has been one wave of the Empire Strikes Back figures and Boba Fett is indeed in that. I don't actually have the second wave or the Empire Strikes Back wave yet. They haven't been released in the UK. Bit of a shame. I think there might be a bit of a delay with them. Um, I could have got them on an import, but it would have been a bit too much money from what I'm prepared to spend. But Wave 1 is still going strong in our Asda local store. It's pretty much the only shop apart from Forbidden Planet where you can actually buy Star Wars figures in a store. And uh, if you go to any Asda in the UK, then you will find the Star Wars carded ones like Chewbacca and Leia and things like that. Star Wars Figure Review says, Bosk, what is your favourite Clone Wars characters? Um, so I don't think, apart from the hero characters... Many of the other characters stay on for that long, apart from, you know, Cad Bane and people like that. So if I was going to pick who my favourite are in the Clone Wars, it'd be a pretty obvious, the clones. You know, I love Fives and Echo and Captain Rex and all that. I think the dynamic they've got between those characters is brilliant and the way they've given them their own personalities and things like that in the Clone Wars. I think it's great. Amazing show. Series 7 was just incredible. Loved every second of it. Carl Jones says, Hi Boss Bounty, do you think we might get a re-release of Django Fett in the Vintage Collection and more like it in the Attack of the Clones anniversary? So it's the Attack of the Clones anniversary this year, isn't it, right? So at the moment, we haven't got anything from the Vintage Collection. The, the repack waves have got nothing to do with Attack of the Clones. They've done something in the Black Series. Obviously, we're waiting for that Attack of the Clones wave. And of course, we've had uh, Dooku and people like that. So... I can't see anything happening this year that hasn't been already announced, unfortunately. But in terms of Django Fett, I think it is a pretty good Django Fett. Possibly the definitive one that we have at the moment. Let me know in the comments if you feel that figure could be updated before it gets re-released, essentially. But I think it's quite a difficult one to get on the secondary market these days. So, of course, that's the sort of figure that, in my opinion, when they're doing reissue waves... That's the sort of figure they should be doing, ones that are really hard to get. Jarrett Barnes says, how would you like a Jewel of Fates playset in the Vintage Collection? Um, I think I think that's a quite a good idea. I'm not really sure what you could actually have as the playset feature of that. Maybe the, the hole in the ground where Obi-Wan springs up from, possibly. Other than that, I can't really see too much what you could do with the playset of the Jewel of Fates. And also, two of the figures that would possibly come with that playset are really easy figures to get. So Qui-Gon Jinn and the, and the Obi-Wan Kenobi, they're, they're very easy figures to find. And of course, Darth Maul is getting re-released in the next re-release of the reissue figures. So not sure about a playset on that, but uh, let me know in the comments below what you feel that could entail. DIY Star Wars Diorama says, as a huge fan of A New Hope and A New Hope being my favorite, I would love a release of the Cantina 
even if it's just something like we got with the Jabba's Palace. What single item from A New Hope would you like, most like released? So I've got to be with you there. I think the the cantina is the number one thing, right? I mean, it's it's what we could base so many 3.75 inch figures around. I mean, obviously, for example, we got this guy, I've still got him to get out of the packet, um, but I would love a cantina display to put him in with all the others. Uh, her check Cal Fass is another one. There's, there's just countless ones from the cantina. But if I was going to say something other than the cantina, I would love to see something involving the Jowers. Maybe maybe a sand crawler with all the droids. Obviously, you can see that my most recent vintage per purchase was the R5-D4 on a Star Wars card. If you haven't checked out my recent video of uh, me showing you what I got from my vintage haul recently, check out that video. But this was one of them, the R5-D4. Pretty expensive, I've got to admit, but it's it just had to be in my collection. I sold a load of other things to try and get that. But... In terms of vintage collection with a playset or something from A New Hope, then maybe, a, yeah, as I say, like a new sand crawler with all the different kinds of droids and maybe Uncle Owen as well. So that'd be pretty awesome. Daniel Woodhouse says, do you think that the Saga Bosque will get a vintage collection reissue? So I've said it many times, this is the best Bosque that you can buy in 3.75 inch. Um, excuse his face mask, he's still, he's still isolating. Um, it's a great figure and it already has been re-released once in the Saga Legends line. I think that possibly would be the cheaper way of getting them. Although I think both of them are quite expensive now. The uh, one on the Saga Collection Vintage card and the Saga Legends are both reasonably expensive. So I think it's possible that they could re-release him again. Um, not sure if they would update the figure particularly, but again, it's just like other figures that I've mentioned that are hard to get, like Django Fett. These are the figures that I would prefer them to release if they were going to do reissue ways rather than, you know, figures that we've had countless times before. Lando, C-3PO, not great reissues in my opinion. P1RZ666 says, I would very much like to see an updated version of Long Snoot Garandan from A New Hope and would be extra happy to see him in the Black Series 2, even if his screen time is short and he is, he is a very important character to A New Hope in my opinion. What do I think? Mate, I'm with you 100%. I love Garen Dan. I've said it before. This is a great figure. I mean, for the age of this figure, it's a great figure. Obviously, it does need updating. He has swivel elbows, which is a problem. Um, I don't mind the swivel thighs. That's absolutely fine. He just stands there at the end of the day. I don't think he needs that articulation in particular. He's really cool, though. Look at him. What a fabulous character he is. And obviously, he's got his little comlink thing in his hand there where he grasses up the... Uh, the heroes to inform the empire of their whereabouts but uh whether you'll see that sort of character in the black series is another matter i don't think you know the black series are going to bring out a garen down anytime soon um and this is why the 3.75 inch line and scale of figures is so important chris rook says i know everyone is asking about the mandalorian and the empire strikes back 40th in every line however now that the final season of the clone wars is complete do you think we'll ever see the wild bunch in action figure form and he's including echo after he joins them so i think they're called the bad batch someone will have to correct me on that whether it's the bad batch or the wild bunch irrelevant really i i know who he's talking about and i've actually covered this in a previous video i don't think it's particularly on their radar at the moment you never know though we could see them on their own vintage cards but i think with the wild bunch or the bad batch or whatever you want to call them if they make one they've kind of got to make all five of them right so i don't think it's anytime soon but if we can get the 3.75 inch line by backing the back the tvc campaign and the fight for tvc and the save point 3.75 campaigns that are out there and we can get hasbro to listen to what we want then those things are only possible in the future if if we really get Hasbro to listen to what we want. So I'm going to end on that thought. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please support the campaign, as I mentioned before. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being part of the community. Leave your comments in the section below and your questions. And we'll see you on the next one.